Oh, I didn't see you there. Haji Mamashita, Anthony Des. Here's how I learned hiragana and katakana in hachi days, eight days. Ichi ni san yo go roku nana hachi. Hachi days. Okay, first things first, I wanted to learn a new language and I was searching for some inspiration on what language I should learn, you know, because I already know English, of course, and French. I know those two languages and I want to learn Portuguese, but I figured that since I already know French, that Portuguese will be easy to learn. So I was searching for some inspiration and, you know, I'm a skateboarder. And I was just so happened to be watching the Olympics and the the person who won the 2021 Olympic gold medal happened to be Japanese. So his name is Yuto Horigon. I I took inspiration from him to start learning Nihongo Japanese. So and uh after that, after I got the um, the go to learn Japanese, I I went on to to the library, the Bijutsukan. Tosti. Wait, no, that's the art museum. Hold on, hold on. What is the what is the library? Uh, Bijutsukan is the art museum. Hold on, hold on. We got it. Toshokan. The Toshokan, the Toshokan is the library. I went to the library in search of some uh, reading material to learn Nihongo Japanese. And, um, and the library didn't really have anything reading material, uh, reading material wise, but they told me that I could go to their website and go to Mango Languages, and and they had a uh, free application that I could learn any, basically any language I wanted to. Not any, it's like 60 languages, but they have them all there. I'm gonna put the link in the description, Mango Languages. So I, uh, I started my uh, Nihongo study, uh, started learning Japanese, and the application Mango Languages, it was teaching me basically how to say, uh, how to, how to speak, how to speak. Hanaseimas is speak, speak. Hanaseimas, Nihongo. Hanaseimas, Nihongo, or Nihongo Hanaseimas. Speak Japanese. Or, and uh, here, here here speaking here Japanese it was actually writing it too but it never sat me down officially officially sat me down and taught me the writing systems which there are san three three language three three uh, three uh writing systems in the Japanese language there is hiragana katakana and kanji so i've so far i've learned Hiragana and Katakana in Hachi days. Hachi days. And for you, it, it, it'll probably be easier to learn Hiragana and Katakana. Um, probably like less days. Less days. But um, it took me eight days. I started to... I, I went to... Oh, uh, let's back it up. Back it up. The... The Mango languages was teaching me how to how to speak Japanese, Hanaseimas, speak Japanese, and and how to understand what I was hearing, hear Japanese, Wakarimas, Wakarimas, understand, Nihongo 
Wakari Mas understand Japanese. So, but it wasn't really teaching me how to to read or write it. It was just putting it in written form right in front of me. You understand? So, Wakari Mas <laughs> understand, but. So I, I took it upon myself to to learn how to read. I mean, yeah, to learn how to read and write uh, Japanese. I went to YouTube, of all places, YouTube and searched Japanese alphabet. And a lot of things came up. And, you know, pick whichever one you want. But I picked what I picked. And, and... The guy taught me hiragana. I learned hiragana first. It was the chart. It was a chart he pulled up and he was saying, ah, which is the first uh, hiragana that you learn, basically. Ah, uh, what, 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 a, e, u, a, o. That is basically the first I E U A O. Uh, uh, go five five go five is go. That is the first five hiragana that you will learn. I E U A O. And he taught me the chart, and I I took no cards, and then I learned it. And then later on, I learned that there's katakana too, because at first I did I just thought it was just one. I thought it was just ichi one one writing system like in english or like in french but no there is san three three writing systems and first i learned hiragana then later i learned katakana and eight days later here i am i know uh i understand wakarimas katakana and hiragana Soon I will be learning kanji. Now kanji is a little more difficult, but I'm going to give you a little background on what hiragana is and katakana and kanji is. Okay, hiragana is for basically for words that are native to Japan. You can say any, any, you can write or, or read any saying that is native. To Japan in hiragana and uh, katakana is foreign derived. So if you're saying like bonjour, like French, French for hello, bonjour, you can say that in um, in, in in Japanese by writing in katakana. Or if you want to say like your name, Anthony, I'm sure that's not a Japanese name. So you would have to say that in katakana. But um, the the San, the third, third language, uh, wait, wait, yeah, third, yeah, because, you know, Nihongo has a lot of things, like Mika, Mika is third, I think, Toasty! yeah, third, yeah, Mika is third, but it's third in the sense of, like, third day of the week, or third day of the, of the month type thing. But anyway, san, san, three, the third language, uh, the third writing system is uh, kanji. And that's derived of just uh, pictures, writing pictures that have meaning. It makes, it makes, uh, it supposedly makes uh, reading uh, more simple, I guess. But... That's what I'm going on to learn. The Joyu Kanji. Joyu Kanji is the kanji that every Nihon, uh, every Nihongo in Nihon, every Japanese person in Japan basically knows and understands. So that's what I'm going on to learn. Wish me luck. You know what I'm saying? I'm done babbling. <laughs> Arigato jamata.